Okay, wonderful. Uh, later today, we're going to take the blinds up again, so you actually have uh, some of the most amazing views, I think, at least of the entirety of the Bay Area. Um, this is the introduction doc, and I love that I already see a few of you online there. Lots of intros have already been added. Uh, again, this is not a task for now, but it's just to remind you that this is definitely a document that many people here really um, yeah, cherish to kind of like go into afterwards. And I'll be showing this a few more times to just remind you to fill this in throughout the day. Um, okay, maybe I'll start briefly with a few words about Foresight. I'll keep it pretty brief uh, just to kind of like tell you a little bit about like why we're here from our perspective. And then I hand it over to Ben and Adam to really talk more about the meat of this workshop. Uh, and so again, I'm Alison. I'm uh, the CEO of Foresight. I have not founded it. Uh, it was founded in 1986. And many people here in this room have been around almost since the early, early days. So we were founded on this kind of like long-term vision of supporting science and technology that has potential really ambitious implications for the long-term future, but that is sometimes a little bit too, let's say, extraordinary for legacy funders uh, to support. And so many of you uh, who are here probably know about Engines of Creation. That was the book that uh, Eric Drexler uh, wrote back then um, to really kind of like kickstart uh, many of the kind of like ideas in molecular nanotechnology that we at least still uh, keep coming back to. And we don't just focus on molecular nanotechnology, but already in that book, it was kind of like molecular nanotechnology with a variety of different applications. And so apart from our work on molecular machines, which is what we're focusing on, you know, for the next two days, we also have an intelligent cooperation group that's mostly focused on AI. We have a neurotechnology group that is mostly focused on neurotechnologies, brain computer interfaces and so forth. We have a longevity biotech group um, and we have a space group. And so for all of these, um, we just try to really support projects, people, what have you to like really kind of like get going on ambitious uh, goals for humanity, uh, especially those um, that have like positive future implications. And so one kind of like way that we do that, we have a fellowship and different grant programs and prizes in each of these areas. So can I just have a show of hands who here is a Fawcett Fellow or Fawcett Fellow alumni? Yeah, thank you so much for coming, you guys. It's really, really, really wonderful to have all of you here. Uh, we also have the Feynman Prizes, uh, which we've been giving out for quite some time. I think the year that I was born was the first one that we've been giving them out. Um, and so we have many folks that have been nominated and, um, you know, and have been really active in that process also here. So thanks a lot for that. Um, we also have our seminars. Uh, so can I have a show of hand who's joining uh, these seminars, who has presented here before? Yeah, many people, I think, here. Uh, if you want to know more about the work that many folks are doing, there's usually, from at least a few folks here in this room, there's a relatively longer presentation with a Q&A already on here. And it's just a reminder that if you did want to present more long form on your work, uh, the virtual seminars is really what, what is good for them. And many people here um, are in this group. And it's mostly about like helping people kind of like throughout or like between in-person events to kind of like make progress on individual goals uh, that people have in the field. So that's usually very, very fun. But I think really the meat where it com comes down to is our events. And so in the molecular nanotechnology space, we've been hosting these kind of conferences um, uh, at least once annually, I would say almost since 1989. And uh, I just sometimes really love going back into uh, like the, the first ones. You have all of these black and white images of people, you know, back in the days already working on these like long-term goals. Many of you here, Ted, that's you. <laughs> And it's, it's so funny for me to see that um, and also so, so heartwarming that many people have worked on this for such a long, long time. And so I think we really kind of like, you know, stepped. Yeah, we're like, you know, standing on the shoulders of like giants that we're trying to move this field forward um, since really before I was born. And yeah, it's really just wonderful, I think, to kind of like see also how these conferences have evolved over the years. That was already in color now, finally. Um, but yeah, so I think we really are trying to make progress on many of these topics. In the last few years since, uh, I guess I've been with Foresight since eight years now, we really try to write workshop reports and have all videos uploaded. And so after this workshop, you will basically see most of the kind of like bits and pieces from this workshop also on this page. Um, okay, so then what is this workshop? So uh, this is the kind of second on that um, Adam, Ben and I are doing, the second annual one at least uh, together. And who here was here last year at the workshop? OK, so then I count on you guys to take the others by the hand uh, if, if people get a bit confused throughout the process. It is quite a lot that we're asking of, of you like throughout the next few days. But I think you're really up for it. And I think also with this overview effect in place, um, I think it should be uh, a really, really good time. So again, I think for the goal, really, like we're trying to focus 
on the kind of original vision of nanotechnology, creating reprogrammable tools that can create individually specified chemical bonds at scale. Ben is gonna to talk to you much more about that in just a second, but if you want more info on kind of like the agenda and on participants and on the actual bio links, that's all on the normal workshop page. So feel free to just kind of take a look and the entirety of the agenda is also again here for you. And so we're now in the kind of first slot we're going to have a break. We're going to have some uh, um, presentations focused on technologies. They're going to be very short because it's a workshop. Um, then we're going to have lunch, maybe take a group photo and take a walk outside in the beautiful Salesforce gardens. And um, we have another round of um, presentations just afterwards, another break, another round of presentations. And then we're trying to form working groups to kind of really see how the different presentations fit in a few of the architectures that Ben and Adam will tell you about in just a little bit. And that we're also on the reader head. Who read the reader head? Good, so you know what's up, cool, I love it. Uh, and then tomorrow is mostly gonna be really collaborative work um, and uh, I will tell, be telling you much more about that when it gets to that. But yeah, I think like one thing that you can really be getting out of this as a more lower hanging fruit, I would say, is that you, know, you make a new connection, you find someone new that you actually wanna collaborate with. The middle hanging fruit is that you actually have a new idea, something that sparks an entirely like new research agenda for you. And it's definitely, the, these fruits are usually easy to get picked and the long term or the higher hanging fruit of this workshop as a goal is really that we come up with project proposals that can really make progress on the architectures that Ben and Adam will be presenting you on today. And I'll be trying to check in if, if we make progress towards this actually and there'll be much more on that later. But uh, if I could ask you, uh, and this is important uh, because we do would really appreciate uh, for you guys to help us with note taking to get there. If you can open the Foresight Molecular Machines um, working document and so this is the document that I told you about already. It's here. It's bit.ly MM working notes. And so we really would love for you guys to take notes uh, throughout this event with us. And there's always discussion prompts. Um, and we're just really asking you to like, it's editable by any one of you. So you can make comments or you can actually edit the document uh, always under the discussion prompts. So again, the working uh, group document is here. That's the main document that we'll be working with through the rest of this workshop. And so if you want to open it um, and you know you can take notes already throughout the presentations that you hear and afterwards we'll be using that for the, for the discussion prompts as well. And uh, especially in the first uh, this, uh, presentation that Ben and Adam will be giving in just a second. Uh, so please do use this document very liberally. There's always a part on it basically is a very micromanagey doc. It tells you exactly what is the session, then it gives you instructions for what we'll be doing during that session, uh, and then it has discussion prompts. And under the discussion prompts, just feel free to take notes. Um, there's not, no wrong ideas here. Um, most of the things that we'll be discussing here throughout this workshop are Chatham House rule. So really just like don't talk about an idea with attributing it to someone. Ask first if you can attribute an idea to someone else, but you are allowed to talk about the general ideas after this workshop. And that's mostly to allow you guys to think freely and to kind of like hold each other accountable to stay within the laws of physics, um, but to also kind of think a little bit outside of the box and to think a bit bigger than perhaps you would be doing if you were recorded. The talks will be recorded at the beginning, uh, but if you're a presenter and afterwards you don't feel comfortable with anything being published, like there will be like another loop where we ask you for edits. So please, like the main goal here is that you can free, speak up freely uh, and that you can like actually help each other and us to make progress on these more long-term goals. Okay, that's all for me for the more kind of like nitty uh, bitty stuff. But I think at this point I would love to ask uh, Ben and perhaps even Adam or uh, perhaps Ben you start uh, to uh, come up on stage if you want. I'll uh, get your slides up here. Um, though this is perhaps later for Adam, but if you wanna say a few words just about the workshop goals um, and like bits and pieces for the agenda, that'd be great.